my god, he's rolling. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Ladies First and I'm June. Today I'm going to show you 5 ways to upgrade your instant noodles. So instead of your luncheon meat, your eggs, your sausages, we are going to teach you to upgrade your instant noodles in a different way. So for you guys that are staying at home, you're so bored of your instant noodles. Mama's here to teach you to spice it up. Ta-da! What? So firstly, this is the Kylie Jenner's instant noodle recipe. She's, she shared it, I think she shared it on Snapchat. Yeah, if I'm not wrong. So it's quite simple. The ingredients are... Let me teach you a hack. You actually can boil the water outside the pot and then pour in afterwards. It actually makes the process faster. Yeah. And then next up, you just boil your noodles as usual. So now the noodles are soft, we are ready to take out about three quarters of the water. And we will use one quarter of the water to make the sauce. So now I'm going to pour out the water into the cup. The unwanted water. This one you can drink or put your... So Kylie Jenner didn't specifically say what ingredients to put in first. So I'm gonna just put in the egg. And then the seasoning. Hey, I'm an expert, okay? Like, come on, trust me. Hey, don't laugh! I think it's time to put the butter. The next step. Next up, garlic. She didn't specify to put like a certain amount or so. So I'm just gonna like... <gasps> Hey, it's gonna taste good, trust me. <laughs> what is this? Yep, so it's about done. And so ta da! Looks like upgraded, right? Okay, but to be honest, I don't think it looks carbonara or like some cream based sauce. To me, it, it looks good lah. So I'm gonna have a taste test, I guess. Go. This is. Perfection to me, okay? I don't I, I don't know why, but it tastes more Chinese than Western, but it is the perfect some noodle. Upgraded instant noodle. So overall, out of five Junes, I'll give this three and a half Junes. On to the next one! Next up we have the Pad Thai instant noodles. And there's this peanut butter ingredient inside. We actually do eat a lot of things with peanuts inside, like um, satay sauce. So I'm excited to try. Let's go! The ingredients for the Pad Thai instant noodles is... These are optional, by the way. Because if you don't like cilantro, cilantro, whatever, cilantro, I don't like it, so I'm not gonna put it on, but that's fine. Let's get cooking! Let's go! We're gonna put the instant noodle in. My advice to you guys on a pad thai would be don't put so much of the peanut butter sauce because it's gonna turn out very creamy and it's gonna look like carbonara. We are done! So remember to strain your water out. Let the mama teach you. Without the strainer, you can do it. After you have strained your noodles, um, you can add all the sauces into the noodles. For peanut butter, likewise, like I said, just a teaspoon. Like this. Right. Don't burn the soy sauce. As dark as my soul. And shiracha sauce. Remember to shake your shiracha sauce because there will be, I think, the garlic and stuff at the bottom. Maybe a squirt. Plating time! Because um, usually like in Thai cuisines, right, I feel like they just like fry it and then they like... You know, it's not a very... I don't know, I just feel like they do this. And next, garnish your Pad Thai. Make it look gorgeous. And some peanuts. Done! This is the instant noodle pad thai. Easy and quick. Let's do a taste test on the pad thai. Oh, it does actually taste like a pad thai. But don't put too much peanut butter. Yeah, 
because it's gonna make your whole noodle taste weird. So out of five Junes, I will give it 4.5 June. Yeah, this is quite good. Let's move on to the next recipe. Next up, we have Ramdon. I'm not sure if you have heard about this, but this is inspired from the movie Parasite. Basically, Ramdon is um, two Korean noodles of different packaging mixed up together and then with some beef cube. But for convenience-wise, we're going to use beef shabu shabu. So let's start cooking the noodles. So there's two types of noodles. There's instant udon, there's instant jajangmyeon. Remember to wash your hands before you handle with food. After the noodles have softened a little bit or halfway through, you can start adding the beef. Ah! Ah! Okay, now the beef is in. Make sure it doesn't overcook. We want the beef to be tender and nice and soft. The noodles is done! So you have to strain all of the water. You don't want a sauce to be watery, you have to be a little bit of a sticky consistency. I'm going to put the noodles into the pot and start putting your sauce into the pot and mix it all up. Let's put the jajangmyeon sauce first. This sauce, you can just pour all of it into the pot to stir. But for the spicy soup, you can just put two thirds of it because you don't want it to be too salty at the end. I mean, if you like it salty, you can like add on later. Mix, 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 mix. I'm done with mixing. I'm gonna put the beef on top of the noodles. There we go. Well, it really looks like a Korean cuisine. I'm gonna do a taste test right now. Let's see how it is. Parasite, don't disappoint me. This is the best, best. It's not too salty and... Bang. Stand up, stand up. <laughs> Out of five Junes, this is six. Six Junes, like fat Junes. It's really good, guys. You should really do this. And it's so cheap. You can get any of these um, instant noodles. So do try it at home. So moving on to the next recipe. Let's go, let's go. Next, we have this. Chinese cuisine, I'm sure all of you guys know, is the Hai Di Lao tomato based soup. I love it so much because it's sweet, savoury, everything at the same time is like a flavour burst in your mouth. So for those of you who cannot enjoy the Hai Di Lao in a group now, you can actually cook it at home with simple ingredients. So let's move on to cook. Actually, while you're waiting for the noodles to boil, you need to mix the cornstarch into the water so that it's easier to make the soup base starchy afterwards. So this is the cornstarch with water. It's going to make the soup thicker. It's going to stay in your mouth for a longer period of time right, with the cornstarch since it's thick. You know, like lor mee, you know? Okay, first up, I'm going to add the tomatoes. Oh, it smells so good. I love tomatoes so much. And actually, you know what? I'm just gonna add like more. No. You can add in the tomato sauce and chili sauce. Just a tablespoon, actually. Next up, to make the soup thicker, as thick as me, you're gonna add this. So the reason why you're adding, uh, we are adding the curry seasoning is because the soup is gonna be very, very sweet, and curry powder seasoning would balance the flavor, I guess. It was at this moment that she knew. Ah! Oh my god, it's starting to look so good. Okay, next you can start putting in the ingredients. Oh my god, I can't wait though. It's okay if you don't have these ingredients at home. You can honestly just go into your fridge, look for the leftovers. You can just add it in to have a bit more ingredients in your noodles. Stop rolling around. It is done. We shall plate this. So just be careful with the hot soup because it's, it's very heavy, you see? Like this. And don't forget your garnish that you have chopped up. Just put it on top. Yeah! Okay, taste test. Let's see. 
Hai Di Lao, are you a competitor? Mm, comparing to Hai Di Lao, you can't compare. Come Bang. on, this is your own cooking. So, to be honest, 5 June, maybe 4 June? Simple ingredients that you can find in a fridge. You can just stick it out and bam, bam, boom. I think it's awesome. It's an awesome idea. Let's move on to the next dish. So next up, we have the Maggi Goreng. This can be found at some Indian Muslim food stores around. Um, my favourite is Jalan Kayu's because um. I live nearby. Sim, let's say others. Pour water into the pot and then we will put the Maggi into the pot. So for this, right, you have to get a specific kind of curry seasoning because only the one with this, this man, this man you see right here, this man. Recognize him, recognize? Right, okay, then you take the seasoning from inside. You can add the seasoning to the sauce later. Same for this recipe, you can actually pan fry it. It will be nice also. Otherwise, you can just add the sauces and seasoning into it. To be honest, I will just add half of this. I don't want it to be too salty. This is um, chilli sauce and tomato sauce. Tomato sauce, you can actually add a tablespoon of it. But for chilli sauce, just a teaspoon will do. For me, I think I will add a sunny side up egg for this recipe. But well, you can make do with whatever ingredients you have. So this is dark soy sauce, in. and then this is ketchup manis. Okay, so this is instant rendang sauce. Um, but from the looks of it, I think we, I'll, we'll just add a teaspoon. After that, if you feel like you need more, you can add afterwards. The fragrance is crazy. It smells like there's like a lot of spices in there. And... Usually in those Indian Muslim food stores, right, you ordered a plate of Maggi Goreng and it comes red. It's because they add food colouring to it. To make it look brighter and more appetising, I don't know. Like, I'm not sure about this fact, but that's why I heard. Right, let's do a taste test. Oh, this is good. This is really, really good. I can say that I would rather eat this than the Maggi Goreng at the Indian Muslim store. I'm sorry. I don't mean to. I don't mean to, but this is nice. Really. There's these layers of spices you can taste in your mouth. I really think it's because of this sauce. Honestly, I think it should be spicier because I really like spicy. This is not spicy. Maybe I can add more chilli sauce or a little bit more chilli oil. It, it will do. So here are the five upgraded instant noodles. And to be honest, my favourite. Mm. My favourite is this. I really love the Ramdon so much. I try, I really like this so much and it's so easy and convenient to do. Least favourite. Let's try least favourite. I don't think the Kylie Jenner recipe is up to my taste. It's a bit more on the savoury side, but they confuse you with the butter as well. This four, I'm good. This is my favourite. Yeah. So tell us which is your favourite recipe to try at home. And do remember to try the recipes. Take a photo. Tag us on Instagram and maybe we will repost it on Ladies First. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and healthy everyone. Click here to watch our latest video. Click here to subscribe. Bye!